lesson. In this lesson, we'll be learning about a birthday. This story is about the birthday of Isaac. Remember Ishmael? Well, he's Abram's son from the one that he married. And he's 13 years old when Isaac is born. Because they were trying to help God from the promise you will get a son. They thought that this is how God is going to help. By getting Ishmael. But, but they were no. mistaken. It's Isaac. So, verse, God doesn't need help. Mm -hmm. One, verse one of Genesis 21 says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. So this was, remember, one year had to pass because God promised exactly one year from now you will get a son. And it happened because God's promises are always true. And when God promises, he always makes it true. So... When Isaac got born, they called his name Isaac. You know why? It's called laughter because they both laughed. First, it means laughter. Yeah, it means laughter. First, Abram laughed out of wow. You know, amazing. Laugh. Like it was. It looks so funny that one hundred years old man, a ninety years old lady, will get a baby. It and Sarah laughed out of disbelief. She was like, really, that's going to happen? I'm, I'm not really sure about that. So they both laughed. So it's a neat mm -hmm. end to be called laughter, laughter, Isaac. And when Isaac was born, Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90 years old. They were very old at that time to have a child. And then when they made a celebration about Isaac, so one day, Sarah just peeked around and she saw Ishmael mocking Isaac and that was during the celebration. She was looking and she saw Ishmael with that face. And then she was like to Abraham, hey, just cast this lady and her son out of this house. Like throw her out because I don't want her son to be with my son, even with Isaac. So then Abraham was sad because Ishmael was his son and Hagar was like one of his wives. So but that's why he was sad. Then God told him, just listen. Listen to your wife. And but because the promise was after all first to be for Isaac. And God said, Ishmael will, you know, become a nation like Isaac too because he's his son. But it was it is not gonna be as big as Isaac's. Yeah, because Isaac is it's of the, the spirit. It's like of the works of God, and Ishmael symbolizes us the works of the flesh. And we read that in Galatians four, verse twenty-two to twenty-three. So, verse 22 says, For it is written that Abraham had two sons, that one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. And in verse 23 it says, But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise. So, it's giving like a picture, like, so God is comparing Ishmael to the flesh and he's comparing Isaac to the spirit. Isaac, Isaac was the promise of God at, from the beginning. Hagar and Ishmael were about to leave. So when they were going to leave, Genesis chapter 21 verse 14, And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and the child, and sent her away. She departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. So, uh, Abraham gives a bottle of water. I imagine it's going to be like 
this side. And it's kind of, it, it does, isn't that too little for, no, it looks too little and for. And one loaf of bread. I would think, I would picture it like this, maybe. It, so it looks like if Hagar was thinking that they would go to Egypt, but Egypt was kind of far away, and only with that bottle of water, how can they drink it? Oh, so they so they just went, went and were somewhere around in the in the forest. wilderness. They were alone. They were lost, and then the bottle ran out. So they're gonna. They look like they're gonna die. Ishmael was kind of almost dying, but so she let him go under the shade because it was very hot there. And you know she went away because she didn't, didn't want, want to see him. See him die, which she God thought didn't let happen. She thought he was going to die because God promised to Abraham that he will make Ishmael a nation too, so Ishmael couldn't die. And in Genesis chapter twenty-one, verse seventeen. So Hagar was like sad. She was crying because she knew he was gonna die. She thought he was gonna die. But when God heard Ishmael, maybe he was praying too. And then he said, and God heard the voice of the lad and the angel called out to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, what aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. And so God is like, why are you crying? Everything's all right. I have heard Ishmael praying already. And I'm going to make a big nation out of him. And God made a well up here. And he said, wow. now I can refill my water bottle. She didn't see that well before because then she would have refilled the water bottle immediately. So that was a miracle because they were about to die. So she got the water bottle, the container, and refilled it. So that's the end of this lesson. Bye! Bye.